Good afternoon. Today is uh, Thursday, May the 30th, and the time right now in Singapore is 12.10 in the afternoon. Uh, overnight on Wall Street, basically, we have very much the same thing that we saw the day before. Uh, overnight on Wall Street, we can see prices uh, in equity markets basically managed to recover uh, on the basis whereby I think market participants are beginning to feel more at ease that the banking crisis that we saw over the last two, three weeks is more or less uh, settled down. But I think this is a forced down to be very, very careful careful because I do not believe that the uh, banking crisis is anywhere near over. I think the worst is yet to come. So this rebound is actually, uh, in my opinion, it's a fool's rally. So be very, very careful chasing this market ever higher. But technically speaking, if the market do come back to test the 22,300 levels in the Dow Jones, that could be a buy area. And the market is probably targeting somewhere around 33,000. 140 to 33,450, maybe even to test the month high at 33,572. But I think that's about it. The market is getting ready, it's prime uh, to basically to unravel in a very big way somewhere in the second week of April. So I have my timing and I do not want to buy this uh, market as it goes up unless the price comes down to a more reasonable level. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, if I'm going to have any long position, it's basically for scalping intraday and I probably will not want to hold any long position over the weekend because now weekend has become very, very dangerous because there is a time vacuum in which we cannot react if the market is not open, okay? So in the S&P 500, uh, we're also beginning to see that the market is also uh, managed to become very stable and uh, currently where the market is right now, the market closed at 4,027.8 overnight in the cash market. So far within this bracket of prices, from uh, the yesterday's low at uh, 4,002 to where the market closes uh, at 4,027.8. I think this is still a buying range. I think the market, once it take out 4,040, I think it's getting ready to uh, to search higher uh, to go and test the 4,140 to 4,194. So this will be, uh, I would consider to be a counter trend move because right now what we are seeing is that the most of the algos and the hedge funds are basically short the market. So if the market continues to edge higher, I think they'll be forced to short cover and that could cause the market to explode to the upside. But this explosive uh, uh, rally, if they if it ever actually happens, uh, is actually short covering, not new buy position getting in uh, because they are very optimistic about the market. The market is basically still rather cautious about uh, the banking crisis that we are seeing unfolding over the last couple of weeks. Okay, so be very careful chasing this market ever higher. Uh, but if the market do come back to, let's say, 4,000, near 4,000 level, it can still be uh, considered a buying uh, opportunity. Uh, just make sure that you tighten the stop no more lower than uh, 3,000. 900 okay so you want to take this chance and exchange for this possibility of 4140 so if you think if you believe that risk reward is uh, is worth it then you can take the shot but in the mean uh, what i mean short is that uh, you can uh, take the chance okay uh, to go and buy this thing but i probably would not want to do that because i think the uh, the risk reward doesn't does not make a lot of sense to me over in the nasdaq we can see nasdaq right now is challenging the midpoint of this rising channel here and whether it can get beyond i think it can uh it will possibly challenge the month high at 12,943 which was only registered last week on thursday so i think there's a very high possibility market will take out 12,943 perhaps to uh to test the upper uh, boundary of the rising channel here at this moment in time uh based on the current estimates about 13,740 or 745 there about okay so be very careful changing this market ever higher because i think upside is really quite limited i don't see how uh the market can actually go higher when uh we still have a lingering banking crisis that is still not entirely resolved in my opinion okay so it, over in asia we can see that nikkei has actually went up uh this morning to a high of 27,876.4, and then it re reversed uh, direction and it is also within my bracket of prices in which I do believe technically they could be seeing uh, profit taking or maybe the re-emergent of selling interest okay this area here is 27,690 to 27,930 so it is a very very small bracket of prices about 350 point range and the market has tested the upper end of this range and now it's trading to the downside so let's see how the market closes if we have a very very sharp decline uh, that means the market has already picked for Nikkei okay
Okay, over in Hong Kong, we still see market is relatively firm. Although the market pulls back a little bit this morning, uh, but I think the market still have some momentum behind it to test the upper ranges to take out twenty thousand four thirty eight. I think it's uh within its possibility. Market may even go up all the way to twenty thousand eight hundred levels. Okay, so I think this still give us a little bit of upside potential uh, for the Hang Seng Index. Thereafter, is anybody guess whether it will pick uh, uh, maybe not even exceeding 21,005, which was the previous high that we saw on Tuesday, last Tuesday, okay? Over in the main index itself, this is the CSI 300. We also see a little bit of a sideway consolidation going on. But again, having said that, I think the market do have enough momentum to actually try the upper end. And the upper end is possibly going to be contained within 4,090 uh, to 4,013, uh, okay? So we don't have a lot of range, but about 20 point range. So I think the uh, the risk reward you know you have to consider i would not i can trade this index here but i'm not going to do anything on this particular index here so this is basically giving you a broad uh, overview of the chinese mainland equity markets over an energy market we do see prices of crude oil uh, uh hit a high on the day before uh Today is Thursday. That means on Tuesday, the market have a high of $74.32. Yesterday, the market couldn't sustain much higher, actually turned back down. And uh, going into today, uh, yesterday I did a longer term outlook and I realized that this market may not be ideal for buying just yet. Okay, uh, before uh, going into Today's uh, session, uh, let me see, yesterday's uh, recording, I did mention that I'm basically quite bullish on energy markets and I think the energy market may have already hit a bottom at $64.33. Uh, but I think now I have a change of heart and I think that this is actually a selling opportunity which I did. I went short uh, uh, oil market as a market reverse. After this long bar reversal, I went into short and I want, right now I have a medium to long term outlook uh, targeting crude oil, the WTI crude oil at somewhere between $47 to $45 per barrel. So this is a way long way down. Okay, so market right now high is at $74.32. So I basically kept my stock uh, for now just above this level and uh, hoping that this trade will end up well. If the market take off $72.16 or close below this level on a close to close basis, I think I get my confirmation and I may consider to add to my short position on every rebound that I see because on the downside, we have a lot of downside potential here, okay? So this is my uh, only uh, major change in view, okay, for uh, any markets right now. Over in the gold market, we are continuing to see the market is being consolidating in what looks like to be a possible triangle pattern. And triangle pattern is actually very easy to trade because within every triangle pattern, there are five internal waves. Uh, categorized as A, B, C, D, and E. And the whole idea is to catch the last wave at E because once E is in place, the market can experience a very explosive breakout. Okay, so let's say from this is A, this is B, this is C. So three of the five potential five waves has already uh, 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 unfold. So right now we are waiting for the D leg to actually uh, uh, materialize. If the market can actually rally from here to test the 1,000, Nine hundred and ninety to one thousand nine hundred ninety six dollars, and it could not break above two thousand and three. I get my confirmation. If the market drift back this way, I will be very very focused in finding a good price position along for an explosive rally beyond two thousand and nine. Okay, so this will be one trade uh for the upcoming month. Okay, because I think this trade may not happen immediately. I think it's more likely to be happening next week. Okay, so let's see what uh what the market does. Okay. Okay. But if the market continues to trade lower and take out 1,935, then of course this potential three wave, uh, this triangle uh, pattern outlook is is invalidated. So we will see how the market unfolds here. Okay, but basically I think it is very likely to be a triangle. Okay, and I love to trade triangle. Okay, uh, over in the silver market we don't see the same structure. We see a more of a classic three wave uh, corrective pattern. And if this is the case, I think the market may actually drift lower uh, to test somewhere between twenty two dollars and seventy two cents to twenty two dollars and fifty five cents. So this could be the area of opportunity to buy. If the market doesn't uh, uh, decline very sharply below this level, I think this will be an area of catchment area uh, to position long uh, for the next leg up. Okay, over in dollar. 
The dollar slide uh, from 103.03 uh, have actually stabilized. Uh, the low trader was 102.03 uh, and I've actually gone long uh, the euro dollars. I mean, not the euro, the dollar index. Uh, thinking that the market may actually stabilize here and uh, maybe uh, the next leg would be to go up higher in a three wave uh, rebound to test 103.50. Actually, I'm a little bit more bullish than that. Uh, so right now I have two long positions and uh, one of which I think I will take profit at 103.50 if the market actually unfold in a way I think that it would. But I'm going to leave at least one open position to target 105. 87 because this is how bullish i am on the dollar itself okay let's see whether it pans out the way it did and over in the currency market we can see that sterling yesterday we have a uh on wednesday we have a marginal high at 123.61 uh but it couldn't well sustain and then what happened was it actually unfolds as a reversal pattern so either we have already have a pick in place or maybe one last push higher okay so i'm keeping the option open i'm positioning uh shorts at 124 levels okay so basically once the price gets into this bracket of price between 124 to 125 20 which is about 120 pips range very very what so i'm trying to look for a sell reversal signal as a market if it ever goes into this bracket of prices i'm going to position for a short uh to actually see if the market can come back to 120 levels okay over the long uh, medium term i think the market if they can can do this go up and come back down and stabilize at 121 or 120 levels i think this is a collective buy area for the next leg higher okay over in euro dollar i have already positioned short okay uh prices actually rebound from 107.13 to all the high uh yesterday high at 108.71 so this is can see the market goes into this bracket of prices which was also within expectation 108.47 to 108.84 and the market did not get beyond this level and it actually reversed but so far we have yet to see a very classic reversal maybe we, if if it can go down to the one hour maybe we can see if there's going to be any reversal pattern there ah, there, there is one here okay there is one classical reversal here now i don't trade the one hour so sometimes i don't i do not refer to the one hour you can see this at a point when market when the market hit 108.71 there was a reversal pattern this candle bar structure is a reversal pattern and if it happened in a crucial area like this it is more or less quite reliable okay so uh think uh uh I have basically went short on the euro versus the dollar and I have a much uh, more ambitious target than the sterling itself. So actually I'm aiming for the market to revisit the 105.16 area, okay, and possibly even taking it out. So I'm going to position this for this move here, okay. If I'm wrong, then at 103, uh, 109.50, I will, I will exit this trade and call it a day, okay. Over in the Aussie market, the market continues to consolidate. I do not believe the market, the money is in Aussie for the time being. So the market may do a couple of things. <clears throat> it may continue to, uh, to consolidate uh, with a bias to the upside, uh, perhaps to test the mid-range of this rising channel here. And this, this, this level at this moment in time is about 0 0.6740. And even with the possibility to go into this breakout of prices of 0 0.6820 to 0 0.6870 range. Now, this will be a much, much better level to actually short because my target is that uh, for another test of 0 0.6560 okay so if i short from somewhere here the risk reward is not very attractive but if i can short at uh let's say a position a short anywhere between 0 0.6820 to 0 0.6870 that would be a much better uh, play for me because then the risk reward makes a lot more sense to me okay but for the time being i have no position now in the dollar versus the yen we can see that the dollar yen actually stabilized at 129.64 and this is happening uh last friday so right now one week later we can see prices at 132.90 there thereabout. so for the time being we can see market is still very elevated uh, i do not have a position right now but i think if the market can pull back all the way to test of 131.25 level that would be a much much better area to position long because i think the market has enough uh, to do a large Larger degree three way to challenge 134.11. Okay, so this will be my play. The market ever pulls back to uh, anywhere between 130.90 to 131.25, that will be an area of my interest. And if I can see some uh, reason to go long, I will go long for a, for a chance to test a 134. And then uh, that's it.
it. I will call it a day. This is a very short term outlook. Over in dollar Canadian, I currently have no position as well. I have gotten out of my short position uh, last week as the market comes back down again. And uh, right now, the market is within a buy zone. Okay, uh, It tested this buy zone uh, with a low of 135.55 yesterday. Uh, sorry, this morning. And uh, my area of uh, buying it, uh, uh, in interest here is 135.11 to 135.66. So, but I do believe the market will actually dip back into this range again uh, to give it another shot. So if we have a more conclusive buying signal on the lower time frame, such as the one hour, then perhaps I may consider going long because I think the upside could be somewhere around the 138 levels. Okay. So if uh, if I ever go long, I'm going to put my stop just below 134.70. Okay. Which is this high here. And I do this, which is a pivot point for me. Okay. So I'm going to put it just below that. Okay. Over in uh, cryptocurrency, we can see that Bitcoin this morning actually attempt to rally. Uh, the high it traded to was twenty nine thousand one seventy. Is about two hundred and ten dollars away from the uh, the high that we saw uh, last Friday at twenty nine thousand three eighty. So it did not quite make it, and then it ended up with a reversal pattern here. Okay, so maybe the market is uh, getting ready to come back down and test the low end of this market, which currently is at twenty six thousand six hundred. Okay, so. Nothing of major interest here. Uh, I don't believe that there is any uh, explosive move that is impending. Uh, going into this week, I was actually short the Bitcoin, but I actually got out on Tuesday before the market rebounded. So uh, that means the market is not going anywhere uh, definitively in any direction. So this is all I have for you for today. Now, tomorrow is the last trading day for the week and the, for the month of March. So be uh, very aware of how the various market closes at the month end because that will determine how markets will behave in the upcoming month which i believe is going to be a very very volatile month and somewhere in the second week of april we could see extreme volatility exploding so this is also my reason why i do not believe the banking crisis is anywhere near over perhaps uh, there will be even more uh, dramatic news coming out from the sector here so in the meantime you take care and i'll be safe bye bye